In this example, I've designed a simple match circuit uh, in a single frequency and I'm going to do S-parameter simulation and I will extract uh, different S-parameters. I will uh, find the input and output matching and gain for my circuit. This is the matching circuit I've uh, prepared and the name, the name is SP underline match. So for now you don't have to worry about this matching circuit because in upcoming sections I'm going to explain how to design matching circuit using ADS software. But for now we are going to measure the uh, actually the S parameters for the circuit. So uh, what is happening here? I have 50 ohms and the load is 10 plus uh, J10. The real part is 10 and the imaginary part is 10 as well. So uh, here actually uh, with this circuit I'm going to match the load to 50 ohms so my source is 50 and this is my load and this is my matching circuit in between so i, I use the lc network l and c1 one capacitor and one, one inductor and this circuit is matched so let's measure the s parameters for this circuit uh, i use the z in and z out here as you see z into is the output uh, impedance and this is input impedance and s parameter simulation as we did in previous section so uh, now everything is ready ready we just have to uh, simulate the circuit so let's uh, measure the uh, parameters here i'm going to start with s11 at db okay so as you see uh, this shows the matching at one gigahertz this is a single frequency matching and um, it's a pro it's a very good matching as you see it's minus 40 s11 and also i can see the input impedance here so i have to go to z in add and let's see the real part as you see it's uh, very close to 50 what about the imaginary part uh, uh, for my input impedance z in at imaginary part should be zero so, and as you see at frequency of one the imaginary part is exactly zero so i'm going to put some markers here also to see it better so at one gigahertz it's uh, 49 and uh, the imaginary part is zero at uh, one gigahertz it's very close to zero what about the output matching so i'm going to see s22 here db okay so as you see again i have a very good matching at the output my s22 is very good and uh, now uh, what kind of thing actually we expect what kind of output impedance we have in this circuit because um, our output is a plus bj so uh, we know that uh, the output impedance should be uh, equal to the conjugate of this uh, uh, actually load um, impedance we know in matching we have to have like uh, conjugate matched here actually we explained in our uh, second course in a power part we said that uh, in order to match to a load we should uh, design a circuit which... welcome to rah rf 209 l he said advanced design system ads basics and applications course where you will learn how to do simulations on rf circuits in order to become an experienced radio frequency design engineer and landing a job in companies like apple SpaceX, Qualcomm and Broadcom and designing ICs going inside phones and laptops or systems going into satellite and planes. My name is Atasar Rafinejad and with my colleague and course advisor Asan Goncha I would be leading you through this course. I began my career as a research assistant during my PhD studies. Later on I moved from academia to industry as an RF and analog design engineer designing power amplifiers and low noise amplifier ICs. My course advisor Ahsan Gonche has more than 5 years RF design and test experience in the industry working at top semiconductor companies such as Broadcom and Qualcomm designing RF filter and bringing up of modules going to lastest phones, laptops and other consumer electronics. The ideal student for this course is an electrical engineer, computer science student planning to become an expert in RF and land a job in the RF field or engineers and employees of the communication and radio frequency related companies who want to boost up or refresh their knowledge on the topics. In this course you are going to be provided with one month free trial ADS so you can do your own simulations and besides that you will have 180 nanometer technology PDK so you will have your own transistor models 
And we are going to start with the simple uh, simulations like DC, AC as parameter, and later on we will go on uh, uh, harmonic balance, uh, P1 dB, IP3 simulations, matching, optimization, and different kind of things that you need to know about the ADS.